Robbie, I got a problem. I'm not a therapist, Jeff. Yeah, I know, but my problem is I want to explore some caves in Minecraft. Yes. Because 1.17 is out. Minecraft 1.16.5 is for babies. But my Pinecraft server is not where I need it to be. Oh, so you've used Pinecraft to turn your Raspberry Pi 4 into a Minecraft 1.16.5 server? Yes, I did. But, okay. But I need to go to 1.17. Yes, and it seems kind of onerous, and we're going to throw a whole bunch of numbers out there, but really, it's super easy. So you used Pinecraft uh, 2.6, now we've got Pinecraft 2.9. And all that to say, if you want to upgrade, stick around, we're going to show you how to get the latest version of Minecraft server on your Pinecraft Raspberry Pi. This episode is brought to you by Ameridroid.com. You need a Raspberry Pi 4 in order to build your Pinecraft server, so head on over to Ameridroid.com. Let's hop right into it. All right, I am SSH'd into my Pinecraft server. I'm going to type screen-ls to show me that I indeed have a screen running called Pinecraft. So if I want to see that, screen-r Pinecraft. And there we go. So I'm going to stop that server and it's gone. So I'm going to now, I'm looking in my home folder, I see the Pinecraft folder. If you installed this um, using our previous video, you could just do git pull. Now I actually downloaded it manually and installed it. Um, so mine is not a git repository. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually remove that first. And now I'm going to clone Pinecraft once again. So exactly like uh, I was just installing it for the first time. But notice I didn't remove my Minecraft folder, I just inst uh, removed my Pinecraft installer folder. So keep in mind you absolutely have to have a latest and greatest version of your operating system, the distro that's running on your Raspberry Pi. If you did this with Ubuntu 20.04, well, you're going to have to upgrade to Ubuntu 21.04. We're only looking at Pinecraft installer. You need to head on over to ubuntu.com, get into the forums and learn how you can use apt to upgrade your Ubuntu to 21.04. Or otherwise, if you don't mind losing your work from previous uh, installations, you could just re-download the, uh, the image file and create a new Pinecraft server. But we want to do this in such a way that we are upgrading our Minecraft server without losing our world files. So I've removed Pinecraft, but I've left Minecraft, so that's still there. I'm going to git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash cat5 tv slash pinecraft and hit enter and that's going to get me the latest and greatest version of pinecraft now i'm going to type sudo dot slash install and you'll see that we are on pinecraft 2.9 now i want to reiterate this as we record this video we're on pinecraft 2.9 I am by no means telling you, go get Pinecraft 2.9. So if 3.2 is out, do this with 3.2 because we are constantly evolving this installer. So that means if you want the latest and greatest, always just simply go with the latest and greatest version of Pinecraft. As we record this, it's 2.9. 2.9, of course, supports all the latest features as of the time we record this. So I'm gonna hit enter and hit enter. It checks my dependencies, goes through the regular steps. I'm gonna speed right through this because you've already been through it, but I'm gonna show you some of the things that are new in Pinecraft installer. First of all, you'll notice you no longer have to type in your Linux username. It's automatically detected my username, so I can hit okay. What do you want to do? This is a common question that we get. How do I upgrade my Pinecraft server? Well, you simply run Pinecraft installer again, and you get this option because it obviously detects that Pinecraft is already installed. And it asks you, do you want to remove the previous install and reinstall, which would lose all your world files and progress, or upgrade your software. So that's the one I'm going to choose because I want to keep my world. So what do we want? Fabric, paper, spigot, or vanilla? I'm gonna go with paper because I had previously used paper. I could easily change to fabric and that's okay, but then I might have some compatibility issues with some of my mods and uh, I don't wanna go through that, so I'm just gonna install paper. 
And I'm going to choose Survival, because that's the game mode that I was using previously and I don't want to change that. Do I accept the EULA? Yes, I do. Automatically load the server on boot? Yes, please. Now, it's going through the regular stuff. It's overclocking my Raspberry Pi 4 and it's giving me paper one point... what do you see? 1.17! That's Exciting. what's going to be installed, so hit OK. And it's just warning me that it's gonna overwrite my config.txt, so I say yes. Robbie, while that's installing, if somebody is new to Minecraft and they're going, this is my first time installing, I realize this is an upgrade video, what's the difference between spigot, vanilla, paper, and fabric? Oh boy, okay, so I've got a link right there. And that link is gonna show you a video that we previously did with 2.6 that explains all of this information. It also shows you how to connect to the screen session, how to set yourself up as an admin, all of those things remain the same, so just go back and watch that after you're done seeing this video, or go through that video and come back here. We've covered a lot of stuff about Pinecraft Installer. This is a product that we create to make installing a Minecraft server on your Raspberry Pi 4 easy breezy. There's no easier way that I know of, and uh, so, I mean, hey, go back to previous videos, Jeff. That's the best way. Okay. And as quickly as that, Paper Minecraft server is installed successfully. Hit OK. Now if I go screen-ls, you'll see once again, Pinecraft is running. Well, I stopped it. So let's see what's going on here. Dash R, Pinecraft. Look at this. It's downloading the vanilla jar. It's patching the vanilla jar. It's actually going through the process. So I can't connect just yet because my Pinecraft uh, installer is just kind of doing those finishing touches to get everything up and running. Let's let that go. I want to remind you to check the readme on the GitHub page for Pinecraft. The links are in the description below. It's really important because it talks about things like your base OS. Uh, we often get the same questions over and over again, like somebody saying, well, I tried to install Pinecraft and it's only giving me 1.16.5. Well, that would be because the base OS that you're using on your Raspberry Pi is not compatible with 1.17. You absolutely have to follow the steps to get the right base OS. Similarly, we get questions like, um, it's only giving me two gigs of RAM, but I have eight. What's going on? Well, you, again, have the wrong base OS. Maybe you've got a desktop environment, or you're using Raspbian or uh, Raspberry Pi OS, and that has a desktop environment, which is not allowed with a headless server. It uses too much memory, and so then you don't have enough memory for your Pinecraft server. It's up and running. It's good to go. I'm going to get go and hit Control A D to um, leave the screen session while leaving my server running. And let's fire up my Minecraft Java client. And here we are in Minecraft 1.17 on the Windows client. So I'm going to go into multiplayer and direct connection. I've already entered the server IP address of my Minecraft server because I've been playing it previously when it was 1.16.5. I'm going to join that server. And lo and behold, now, ladies and gentlemen, we are on Minecraft Paper 1.17 on Pinecraft. This was done completely in real time, and it was as easy as that. You'll notice I spawned in a village. Jeff, any guesses why that might be? Uh, because that's your set spawn point for the server? It's where I signed off when my server was 1.16.5. That makes sense. And what that means as we see this is that my world is still intact. I didn't lose my world, but now as I explore beyond the boundaries that I've already previously explored, it's going to start doing world gen using the 1.17 world gen. So I'm going to start getting the new caves and, uh, and in inevitably other updates that Minecraft uh, adds to that server. So that means that where you've already explored for instance, in a cave, it's not going to update Correct. because you've been there. It's already generated. Right. So yeah. keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to keep exploring to see the additional stuff. But as you can see, the world as it is, as I had already explored it, is still intact. So that's all there is to it. I mean, Pinecraft Installer makes it absolutely simple to install Minecraft server on your Raspberry Pi 4, but also to upgrade it to the latest version as it's released. So check it out. The links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and joining us again this week. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and grab yourself a copy of Pinecraft Installer. It's absolutely free. We'll see you next time. And remember, 
If you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. See ya. Bye.